Hello, I'm Anthony Drusso, also known as Yellow Polo Drusso. This is the Las Vegas special. But Trump Tower looks like Trump's golden hair. It's pretty nice. Make sure to get my travel book, Travel With Me, Anthony M. Drusso, which you can now purchase at www.lulu.com That is www.lulu.com You can also get my other book Wonders of Anthony Drusso This book is about my paranormal experiences across 13 years including a paranormal experience that I had in Las Vegas. So you can buy both of these books right now at www.lulu.com. I have had many amazing experiences while traveling around the world, and Las Vegas is definitely on my top five places to revisit here in the United States of America. But first, before I tell you all of these really incredible, amazing things, I need to give you my first impression of Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello. Today I got something very interesting for you. Look, dirty carpets. You can even see the stains. You know, this. Look at that, there's like stains on this carpet, dirt, dust. Okay, so this video is about what Las Vegas is all about. Welcome to beautiful, sunny Las Vegas! Oh wow. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That damage down there on the roof lighting. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful sunshine. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow, look at that, a highway. There's like a glare. You can actually see cars on that highway. There's a billboard. Billboard. Oh yeah, that beautiful glare. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Las Vegas is like being on vacation. And I was on vacation in Las Vegas. Oh wow, Las Vegas. There's Trump Tower. That's the probably the best looking thing in Las Vegas is that golden colored windows on Trump Tower. You can see the stratosphere in the background. You could even read this wonderful book while you're on vacation. You'll have a lot of time, especially when you're kind of getting ready to go to bed. And you might need a bedtime story. And this might be the best bedtime story you will ever have when you're traveling in Las Vegas. We have Treasure Island, which is okay. I mean, it just looks like downtown Brooklyn. New York, and they see the stratosphere and the clouds, but it's raining. I mean, you have all these condos and things and stuff out there, and you have some hotels. There are a lot of things in Las Vegas to do, and a fun fact about me is when I went to Las Vegas, I didn't even have time to go gambling. But there are some cool things, like you have like the Italian Mob Museum, and the Shelby Heritage Center. A lot of people claim 
that Las Vegas is the Disney World for adults. But I disagree with this. There's plenty of things for children and teenagers to do, and also for adults with youthful minds to really enjoy Las Vegas without gambling, drinking, or any of the more adult alleged activities. When I was in Las Vegas, one of my primary things that I did that I really enjoyed was taking photographs of the architecture. I also went in to Las Vegas to really absorb the beauty of their art. And I did some motorsports racing as well. You see the AMG logo on the back of this vehicle. It's very nicely made. And then you see the AMG logo on the back of my shoes. Which are my initials. So I'm at the New York, New York. I hope you can hear me. Um, but this is the waterfall thing. And you can like walk through it. Uh, just listen to that sound. This is King Anthony, I am at the Luxor. We have some nice strange looking tables. A very plain looking room. Maybe there's more to this room than I think, but right now it looks pretty plain. We have a Sphinx with an obelisk. There's an obelisk on the inside. You can see all these really cool stuff. All these great resorts down here, the airport. There's the tram down there. It's kind of blurry. 
It's kind of hard with these angled windows. These angled windows are actually really, really filthy on the outside, and they're kind of dirty on the inside, but it's cool. There's not too many hotels that have angled windows. I mean, literally, to my knowledge, this is the only resort in the world that has angled windows, but there could be resorts and other places that I don't know about that actually have angled windows. Oh, look at that. Hold on. All the planes. Are those the Janet flights? Oh my goodness. Those are the Janet flights to fly to Area 51. They have the they're the white planes with the red stripes. That is so cool. Alright, I want to show you what's really cool out here. So we're on the 19th floor. That's right, I said 19th floor. There's an obelisk. You look down, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't drop my phone. Holy f moly guacamole debt. That's pretty cool, right? So apparently the obelisk is here to channel spirits. I don't know. I'll have to do a spirit session. Wonders of Anthony Drusso. This book is about my paranormal experiences across 13 years, including a paranormal experience that I had in Las Vegas. And then you can live the executive lifestyle and inspire others to dress like you and to have more confidence in themselves and push themselves and their families to ultimate success. I remember we went to Denny's and I ordered the blackberry pancakes, which is like a special for the year or whatever. Delicious. Okay. Best pancakes I've ever had at a Denny's were those blackberry pancakes. They don't have them anymore, unfortunately. But I ate those blackberry pancakes for the first time and also the only time in my life because I never went to a Denny's for the rest of the year. And I actually got to eat those fantastic blackberry pancakes while watching the water volcano explode. There's like this volcano in front of one of the resorts that we stayed at. I don't remember the name of the resort. But it had the uh, volcano and it shot out water and stuff. It was really cool. And I got to watch that while eating my breakfast at Dunny's. I really enjoyed going on the roller coaster at the New York, New York, and also playing in the arcade. I got a whole bunch of really cool prizes. One of the best things was when I was at Circus Circus, they have a theme park that's indoors. They had a corkscrew roller coaster called the Canyon Blaster. And when I went there for the first time, they did not have the original roller coaster train. They actually changed their roller coaster train to this more rounded white, and I think there was some like lime green on the sides of it. It was not the original corkscrew roller coaster train. They replaced the train, but the track was exactly the same. But it was still an excellent ride to go on. Then, there was also a upside down wild mouse that I went on, which was really cool. So if you've ever been on a regular wild mouse where it, you're like in a small like four seater roller coaster car and it goes around those bends really sharply. Well, this one at the Adventure Dome had elements that were upside down, which was crazy.
the ending of the ride was even more crazy because they had the brakes while you were upside down and then you come down into the station kind of like the letter C so if you're upside down on the roller coaster it breaks upside down and then you're it comes around like that it's pretty unusual another memory it wasn't that great of a memory, but it was a memory. I went on this spinny ride. Anyway, this ride, it would bring you up and it would spin you around while the cars that you sat in would rotate as well. And I decided to wear my new full of a watch that cost $250 that I had bought at a Columbus Day sale literally right before the time I went to Las Vegas. And you know what happened? My watch slid right off my wrist and it fell. Now what's interesting is I was unable to find that watch after the ride, which might mean that there is a lost watch somewhere on the premises of the Adventure Dome. Could be like in a area. I, can't, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure they had like fake plants or something. It may have fallen in there. Could have flung you know into the ride area where the thing spins where the arm is. I have no idea. I could not find it whatsoever. So my watch is possibly somewhere within the Adventure Dome, if it has not been found already. So, you could make it a treasure hunt to go find my watch for me. And then you could return it. Or keep it. I'll have to buy a new watch. Which I haven't done, surprisingly. After that memory, I never bought a new watch. Though I think I'm going to buy a new watch anyway. I think I should. But I just won't take it to Las Vegas. I think that's a good idea. Oh yeah, Caesar's Palace. They had this animatronic show around a aquarium. And I loved watching the fish in the aquarium. But the uh, animatronic show was kind of unusual. But they switched the animatronics around. And there's like some show with the animatronics that I watched. I didn't really understand exactly what was going on with it because I was mostly distracted by all the fish in the aquarium and I was watching that. My family really liked the animatronics but I wasn't like super into it. I was just watching the fish in the aquarium. I remember that there was a Skechers shoe store near the aquarium. Let's see what else. We went to go see a show. It was mostly for my parents and my grandmother. They were fans of Elton John. I'm not an Elton John fan. So I wasn't like super into going to see them. I wasn't excited about it. But I went for my parents and my grandmother. There was one song that I remembered quite well. It was Crocodile Rock, and that's because that was in the Crocodile Hunter movie. Because when I was really little, one of my favorite TV shows was The Crocodile Hunter. And I wanted to grow up to be just like Steve Irwin. That was a long time ago. Oh wait, hold on a minute. There's another show. That's right. 
The Beatles Love Show. Excellent show. Very well done. I could really tell that the people, the actors, were really into their job and what they were doing. I've seen shows across the country, all different random shows, and you could tell that some of the actors are really into it and some of them weren't. But the one in Las Vegas, it was like really, really impressive at how well the actors enjoy doing their show job. That was really amazing. People used to talk about the neon lights at Las Vegas, especially at nighttime. We walked around and there wasn't hardly any neon lights. So I had no idea what people were talking about when they said there were neon lights all over the place. My grandmother said when she returned there with us, because apparently she went there like 20 years ago in the 90s or whatever, and she told us that there used to be all these really incredible neon light signs and all these cool flashing light signs. There are still some flashing light signs, but most of them weren't neon. Because you think of neon, you think of putting underglow underneath your car, right? Custom neon for your car. But I didn't see hardly any neon out there. Which was kind of interesting. Oh, but I should have started with this, but I remember flying in to Las Vegas that night is very pretty. You can see all, a bunch of different lights. You can see the stratosphere. All right, have a wonderful day. Make sure to watch many of my other videos that I've already made. That's right, you're going to have to do your research. Look up Anthony Jeruso. Go find my book online. Buy my book. Buy my other book. And then you'll have two amazing bedtime stories. Plus, keep watching by liking and subscribing to my amazing channels on multiple platforms. Have a great day. Goodbye.